If you have ever seen Clemson's Aaron Kelly, you know he's the owner of some spectacular catches. He also has a chance to break Torrey Holt's career ACC record for receptions. But when Kelly completes his collegiate football career after this season, it will be about much more than his play on the field. Here's Jen Hildreth with our GMC Profiles and Professionalism. For all you see on the field, the grand moments, the great catches. Aaron Kelly is just as memorable for the gracious gestures he gives you off the field. This is a young man who greets you with a hug and means it, who loves his family and shows it, and who not only wears Clemson orange, but respects it. I just want to be able to, to when people look back and see my name and just know that I was a good person, someone that worked hard and, and did well at Clemson. Comes from a great family, he's a great leader, uh, he just makes great decisions and if you, if you want to take uh, some young freshmen, say hey I want you to watch that guy work in practice, I want you to follow him in class and I want you to watch him after class what he does at night, I'd probably pick Aaron Kelly and say hey you guys go follow him and then go, go be like that and Aaron Kelly would be that guy. All records aside, and Aaron has a chance to hold many both at Clemson and in the ACC, the bigger issue is really more of a question, how does he do it? Where does it all come from? The drive, the dedication, the demeanor. For that, you have to pay a visit to Marietta, Georgia, and a family that has always made athletics a part of their life. run together. Um, we do usually a 10K. We do the 10K peach tree during the summer. And we, um, we, we, we like, uh, we have our nights out. We have family nights out too, which usually is like a, a Friday night or a Saturday night where we go bowling as a family. But we're a very athletic family. Athletics is always involved. Janice and Amos Kelly raised three boys, older brother Jason and twins Aaron and Avery. And their athletic endeavors not only created athletes, but competitors. Oh, absolutely. I've played sports with them from toddlers. And we always played ping pong. And I never, ever let them win. They, if they win, they won it. They really wasn't because I let them win. I was right along there with them. But they was more competitive. But they mom and it was me because she always get excited and everything, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and they was always on her case. They go ease on me. <laughs> so Aaron, after talking to your parents, it seems that uh, your family is a little bit competitive, maybe especially your mom. Kind of talk to me about growing up in that athletic kind of environment. Yeah, um, my mom, she never let us win at anything. That's where our competitiveness probably comes from, mostly our mom. Our whole family's competitors. We don't like to lose at anything we play. We always strive to do the best. And um, just never, one of the main things is just to never quit, never give up on anything. Once you start something, you should always finish it. And that's something that I've picked up from my parents. Finish what you started. Words that Aaron has heard all of his life and a mantra that played a major part in one of the most important decisions of his life. Stay at Clemson or leave early for the NFL. Oh, wow, that was tough. That was really <laughs> tough. I felt that it was a great opportunity to be able to go into the draft this year. We met and he announced that he was gonna be uh, pursuing a professional career. So, um, not exactly what I wanted to hear. But then there were those words again, finish what you started, and a son with a tremendous amount of respect for his parents' wishes. I think getting my diploma and my, how strongly my mom felt about it and my parents, and I've always listened to him my whole life, so I figure why I stop now and 
just go back and to enjoy your sen my senior year at Clemson. He was just such a good sport about it because I knew where his heart was. But he was, uh, he, he's a reasonable kid. If you can just talk to him, and my, my goal was to reach his heart. And, and that's why I think I was able to touch his heart a little bit. And at the same time, make him see that it wasn't a bad decision after all. <laughs> you need to see things through, not to quit on anything. Because um, quitting doesn't really get you anywhere. Wise words. And not the only ones Janice and Amos Kelly taught their son. I've hoped that he would remain humble, respectful, and I have um, just his self-integrity never loses integrity, the things that we've taught him. Just always remember those small things in life, you know, the, the saying hello to people and thank you and please and not forgetting um, the simple pleasures of life. Little did they know that their teachings of humility and decency would help lift their son up from one of his darkest moments. He's going to throw long. He's got a man open, Kelly, and it's incomplete. It's off the hands of Kelly at the one-yard line. On the night of November 17, 2007, Aaron felt much more than the ball slipped through his fingers. A Clemson loss also meant a lost opportunity for an ACC championship, something the Tigers hadn't tasted in 16 years. There was coverage back there, but Aaron Kelly will be the first one in the world to tell you he should have reeled that in. And I told the coaches I want the ball in those type of situations, and it really hurt. It hurt bad not being able to come up with that play, and I felt like I let my team down. And yet, the overwhelming reaction from the Clemson faithful was not one of anger, but of empathy. I was bombed out Saturday and Sunday, but my sadness after the loss was due to thinking of the young men on the field who I knew were hurting more than me. I watched it from the stands, but they lived it. Thanks for many memories of this year, Aaron. You are a great example to many that will follow you and all that sit in the stands and cheer. Looking forward to you next year. Thanks for being a true Clemson Tiger. Well, I remember after that game, just really being impressed with how many fans came out and empathized with you and were in support of you. And I don't think that would be the case for every athlete. So why do you think they had that reaction for you? <laughs> so Drew, I really don't know, but I guess just, I'm guessing the way that I carry myself and how I go about things, I, I try to be as nice to, to everyone that I meet and try to give everyone a chance. For them to feel that positive, positively about me, uh, it means a lot to me. I know that was one of the, that was a really, really tough thing for him because he wanted that so bad, so bad. But I just think that the fans recognize too that it was tough on him and he, and he works very hard. Hard work, another cornerstone of the Kelly family. But if you try to judge Aaron's work solely by what you see on the field, well, you have no idea. Welcome to the world of XPE Sports an extreme performance training program blending regular people who just want to stay in shape with athletes, both amateurs and pros. Aaron has been a fixture here since high school. There you go, drive. What well, we've really developed is like four levels of speed, four levels of agility, and four levels of explosion. And what they get at their schools is great, but it's a lot of strength and conditioning. What's amazing with Aaron is he's kept up with his speed and agility training, and a lot of guys will go to college and put on the 20 to 25 pounds and get slower. I think it's because a lot of the training he's done in the summer, he's been able to put that weight on and got faster. And it's not only the type of work Aaron does that helps him, but the people he does it with. People like all-pro running back Jamal Lewis and all-pro linebacker Takeo Spikes. At first, it's a little intimidating, but I'm a competitor, so I always want to come out and compete and, and do my best. And 
Working out with them, it's a lot of motivation. Um, just seeing what type of work they put in, what type of work ethic that they have, it kind of shows you what it's going to take. Uh, not only does he gets to train in his forwards, the running aspect, conditioning, the strength, but he gets he gets a chance to sit down and interact with us, talk about the finances, the the uh, the, the, the fine print, the fine print where people don't know what it takes to to get to Sunday because you know a lot of people just in in realistic real life they just think that we wake up and just play on Sundays, which is that is not true. This is what we do. This is the grind what we put in. If you look at a guy like Aaron from day one when he came in, you can see his pr progress from day one to now, you can see his progress and how, how better an athlete that he is. Come on, come on, AK, don't come up with it. Drive forward. Like I was telling AK, this ain't cut out for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you gotta be special to come in here and do it. So check my boy out though. He, he don't put it down this year in Clemson. Check him out. Aaron grew up on SEC football. In fact, his cousin Derek Lassick played at Alabama and was MVP of the 1992 National Championship game. Aaron says he and Derek kid each other now about which conference is better. Well, guess what? Someone's going to get bragging rights on opening weekend as the Tigers play Alabama at the Georgia Dome in Aaron's hometown of Atlanta. 